but I do it every Sunday, I forget to put diesel in, so this is usually my first stop on the way. It's about three in the morning. Stop, get some fuel, and then off we set again to that big city London. All fueled up, and away we go. Should be about two hours to get to where we need to go. And there's a little bit of filming to do when we get there. Well, five in the morning, big city London. Pulled up at sight. I think the gate's open at seven, so I've got a bit of time to wait, but I might get a little bit of a sleep. Here we are. This is the Leak Street Tunnel, also known as the Banksy Tunnel. Um, inside those little, inside those, you've got little shops and whatever else, restaurants and bars that have opened up just because of the graffiti and the, you know, the, the nature of the place. It's like five in the morning now, so there isn't, I mean, anybody. I love that one, that's fantastic. Obviously that was a commission because that would have took some getting up there. But what it was, this, if you look back, I don't know whether you can see the bollards there. So up until about 2007, this was still a road. It was still a road where you could drive through. Um, it was something to do with the Eurostar coming in and out. Eurostar owned the um, owned the station. Then they gave it, and then Network Rail bought it, and um, then they, they closed it off for pedestrian use only. Last week there was a bald eagle painted on there. Someone's painted over it at the weekend. It was a really good painting as well. Uh, yeah, so they closed the tunnel off for pedestrian access only. And then what happened? The most famous graffitiist in England, Banksy, decided to do a um, an exhibition down here, which he called the Cannes Festival. Obviously, a play on the Cannes Film Festival, but he just, it was C-A-N-S Festival, not C-A-N-N-E-S. Uh, what he did, which was quite ironic really, because it was only stencil art that was um, available on the exhibition, and that was in 2008, I think. So he did that. Um, and then in 2009, I'm sure it was that, well, it was the year later anyway, after, after Banksy did his thing, they did it again, but Banksy didn't attend and people were allowed to spray and whatever else. I particularly like this one. That's been there for a few weeks now. That's pretty good. Down there, there's more, but it's not very well lit because obviously it's only five in the morning. So I'm not going to go down that bit. You see, people have got them up on the ceilings with ladders and whatnot. Um, I like this the, the tunnel, the ceiling along this part is really cool. I don't know what style of graffiti that's called. I know there's a name for it, but I'm not sure what it is. That's a, a bar, nightclub, whatever, the vaults. And then there's another one there, I don't know. Don't, I'm not sure who that's by, but that's a good one as well. A girl with a dust mask on, which is quite apt when you think about it. So yeah, just going down this one, this side now, I thought I'd do both sides. Some fantastic stuff. There's a bit of a, a Lego Bowie. Pretty good. 
There's that one there, it's a bit plastily. just come back what well, is another weird thing long time ago in sort of like Vic the Victorian era all the um, what they call all, all the cemeteries in London were getting filled up and what they did is they just decided to do decided to move people out into the countryside as, as it was then that's brilliant that man and Brenda I love that man so they decided to move all these people out all these dead people and the inside these tunnels just go back inside the tunnels here where the doorways are inside there that's that's the site where i'm working that's where you go in and they used to store all the dead bodies until they were able to transport them on a train because most as most of the population is they're not upper class or wealthy or anything so they had to wait for an upper class um person or a few few people to get ready to be interred and then the train would set off it wouldn't set off for a pauper's grave so they just stored all these bodies in there in these vaults like under under there like inside there will have been where the coffins went in pauper's grave pauper's coffins and then they'd bring them out stick them on the train and take them up to whichever cemetery they were, whichever new cemetery they were building these are good this one appears quite a lot all around. There was one on that, on that wall there where the blue fellow is, smoking a bifter. He was, uh, that one of those was on there last week. So it just shows you how quickly it, um, it gets sprayed over. I don't think there's a, a written rule as such, but it doesn't last long. Some of the good ones do, but even still, the um so you get them you get them all on the floor what's that live for the gang oh i'm not sure i agree with that yeah some of the good stuff stays a little bit longer but then it's uh it gets gets painted over like this door that's another door into the site and uh that was a had a stone island motif I assume it was where all the football hooligans congregated for a fight or for a bit of a dance about. Oh dear. I hope nobody's died. There might have been someone someone died of a heart attack from drinking monster energy drinks. You never know. And there we go, we're back out the other back at the same side we came in. It's about the tunnel, I think the tunnel's about 300 feet as long or something like that and above as the tracks obviously go above there you can hear it all day you can see the big steels that there that staircase is an emergency exit out of the platform out of the station um they just they just thunder in all day it's obviously a very busy station Waterloo. and then you come out and you can just see just over the top there's the London Eye. So the London Eye, you go up that street there, in between the buildings, and that gets you up to the London Eye, which is obviously the Thames on the south side of the of the river. And that's about it. That's the tour of Leak Street. I'm sure there's there's more information, but that's about all I know really. But it's a pretty cool place to work. You've got people just rock up and do music videos and like in in that obviously in there when it's it's lit up constantly, 24 hours a day. Yeah, people just turn up, start doing music videos, kids just dancing, filming themselves on TikToks and all that sort of malarkey. And in that where that building is there, the big old office block, just below there's a car park. That's just behind those hardens where the lights are there's um there was a film crew in there last week and the week previous so god knows what they were filming but i'm sure it will come to light at one point and there's a vehicle reversing yeah, watch my van you've got to live in there 
So yeah, there we go. There's a um, there's the video, and what I'm going to do at the other end where I walked to, where it was dark in the tunnel underneath. There's a cool street there, Lower Marsh. It's called Lower Marsh Street. So later on, when it gets lighter, I'm going to go down there and have a look at that. There's a cool, like a communal garden with a grapevine and all that sort of stuff. You can go and pick herbs and tomatoes and all that. You can just go and help yourself, which is really good. So I'll do that later on. I might go and have a bit of a kip now. So here we are in the vaults. This is under the station at the other side of Lake Street. You need a pass to get in here. So you're not. General public can't come in because it is a building site. But if you look at all of the arches all the way through, this is where the bodies were stored and then taken onto the trains. And if you walk into the lower marsh, there's restaurants at the bottom end, but there is a lot of street food vendors. Um, too varied to name all of them, but there's a Peruvian that I had the other day, which is really nice. There's Greek, there's Chinese, and Canton, Vietnamese, and all sorts. Really good. And as you can see, it's pretty busy too. Vaulty Towers. Fantastic, good good range of drinks as well. It's a pretty cool pub. So that's it from the Leak Street video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. It was fun doing it. Um, and thanks for watching. If you did like it, subscribe and do the likes and all the rest of that. Um, and also follow me on Instagram if you like. It's the same title, Joint Tech Cabling, which is mainly more work stuff. But again, thanks very much.